Welcome back to my channel and for today's video I am doing an Inktober video. I am doing a Charlie Inktober this year and I am following the official prompt list and I'm drawing a picture of Charlie and the prompt every day in Inktober. So I'll just do a little tour of what I've done so far. So day number one was poisonous so I drew Charlie dressed up as Maleficent with a poison apple and I think this is one of my favourites. Number two was tranquil so I did Charlie having a little nice spa day. He looks nice and relaxed. I wish I could be Charlie right now. Day number three was roasted, so I drew Charlie roasting some marshmallows on Charmander's tail and I think the Charmander looks really adorable. And then the next day was spell and I didn't want to do a magic spell, I thought it'd be funny to do Charlie to teaching people how to spell or teaching mice how to spell different names of cheese. And then the next day was chicken, so I drew Charlie in a chicken onesie. And then the day after that was drooling, so I wanted to draw a dog with a bone, with Charlie giving the dog a bone and the dog drooling, but I think it turned out a bit scary. The next day Charlie is folding up some laundry or washing, depends where you live, and he is a little bit tired, he's a bit exhausted, so he's falling asleep on them and using his folded washing as a pillow. The next day I drew Charlie as a mousetronaut. Yes, expect lots of mice and cheese puns in this video. And then the next prompt was precious and the first thing I thought of was the Lord of the Rings, my precious. So I did Charlie dressed up as a hobbit with hairy feet and the ring. So day 10 was flowing. So here is Charlie flowing down a really, really fun water slide and making a big splash. And then the next day was cruel and I thought it would be really cruel if there was a cheese shop which didn't allow mice to enter. There's a sign saying no mice allowed and Charlie is very upset. So now we have reached the new prompts, day 12, 13 and 14. So I'm going to get on with that and see what Charlie thinks. So the prompt for day 12 of Inktober this year was whale and I did consider drawing Charlie and a whale lord but because the sketchbook I'm using is only a six size I didn't think that would be possible because the scale of whale lord to Charlie would be quite big. Not quite sure what the scale would be but whale lord is a bit of a tank and Charlie is a small little mouse so you can kind of get the idea. So instead I drew Charlie having fun splashing around in the water that the whale has just spouted out. Not really sure how best to describe it but you can see what I mean in a minute when the drawing's finished. I do sketch out my Inktober drawings with a mechanical pencil first and then go over the top of them with a uni pin liner. I am using a 0.5 uni pin liner, that's one of my favourites. I do like the thicker line pens because it means I can get a nice bold line and it's easier for me because I'm very heavy handed. I'm also varying the line weight a little bit to try and make it look like a colouring book. I'm going for a very monotone look in Inktober just using a black and then the white of the paper or sometimes the white gel pen to add the highlights back or to correct my mistakes because mistakes do happen. But yeah I'm using that because I think it looks like a children's colouring book and I might end up putting this and uh, making this into a children's colouring book when I am done. So here is the final result for day 12 of Inktober. Here's Charlie having fun splashing around on top of a whale. And let's see what Charlie thinks. Oh, Charlie seems to like his new friend here. He seems to be having a whale of a time. Yes, I just made that pun. And here it is a little bit closer, just so you can see the line weight and how thick the lines are. And yeah, so let's get on with the next prompt. So the prompt for day 13 was guarded and I did struggle a little bit in what to do here because you have guarded where you are guarded as a person, you're, as a personality if that makes sense or you are guarding something and I kind of took the, the second option and did Charlie dressed up as a sort of Roman soldier, not quite Roman, he's got a Roman hat on, one of the centurion hats. I didn't give him sandals though, maybe I should have given him sandals. And he has a shield and a sword and he is looking very ready to guard whatever he is guarding. Not quite sure what he is guarding, maybe some cheese, probably cheese as it's Charlie, but yeah, he is looking quite fierce and ready to go into battle if he needs to. But yeah, I did quite struggle with this piece. I struggled with putting Charlie in the position and because Charlie has a certain way that I draw him and I wanted to keep his dungarees on because he wouldn't really be Charlie without his dungarees. Although I have drawn him without dungarees and I have been doing that in Inktober. But in this occasion, I wanted to keep his dungarees on. 
But yeah, it was a bit of a struggle, but I do like how he turned out in the end, and I do like his expression. His expression is probably one of my favourites in this Inktober so far, even though I'm not so keen on the rest of it compared to other pieces. I'm just rambling a bit now because I'm not really sure what else I can say about the piece. So I am going to talk a little bit quickly about why I do Inktober and why I chose to do a Charlie Inktober. So Inktober is a challenge set up by Jake Parker where you draw an ink drawing every day in the month of Inktober and you can use the official prompt list or you can make your own up. And I decided to use the official prompt list because it's easier, I don't have to think up 31 different drawings, they've already been fought up for me. And I wanted to do Charlie because I think it's really good for character development, especially if you're forcing yourself to do a prompt, a different prompt each day. And I think it's good because I want to develop Charlie and I want to develop his facial expressions because it's quite difficult to do facial expressions for Charlie because he's drawn in a specific way. He doesn't have a mouth, for example, on show and his face is always forward. So I wanted to develop that and force myself to draw him with different expressions, doing different things. And yeah, I just think it's really fun and a really good exercise for character development. So here is day 13 and guarded and Charlie is very, very impressed with the cheese on the shield because, you know, Charlie likes cheese and yeah, he looks very fierce and very ready to pounce on anyone that goes to steal his bit of cheese. So let's get on with the next prompt. So the prompt for day 14 was clock and as soon as I read this I just thought of the nursery rhyme hickory dickory dock the mouse run out the clock because I'm still a child so I decided to draw Charlie hanging off one of the arms of the clock just because I thought that would be cute and it would be a different position to draw Charlie in and I wanted to keep it quite simple but although once I had drawn Charlie on the clock it did look a little bit bare so I did end up adding some cheese designs to the clock and I'll let you look forward to the pun that I have there. I do need to think of some more puns for Inktober because I have used um, a Gouda pun more than once so there are other puns that I could have put on there so I did think about putting on there afterwards never brie late. If you can think of any more cheese puns that I could have used in Inktober or could use in Inktober for the rest of the month please do leave a comment down below and if you're new to my channel welcome there's not always bad puns here but I do like puns and this is my little character called Charlie and you will see a lot of him on this channel. You'll see a lot of the puppet as well, but I do do other things. So have a look around. I do speed paint challenges, discussion and advice, all that kind of thing. All the stuff you expect from an art channel. So do feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And I am posting my Inktober Charlies on my social media. So I will leave some links down in the description below if you want to see what else I come up with during the month of Inktober. So doing a Charlie Inktober has given me an idea for what I can do next with Charlie. I have been thinking about doing a calendar, so an A4 calendar, a black and white calendar of Charlie drawings with the months plotted out, maybe a to-do list, that kind of thing. So it'd be 12 pages with drawings of Charlie that you can colour in. And I'd probably put it as a PDF that you can download and purchase. Not very expensive, I'm not going to charge lots of money for it, just you know just want to see how it goes so let me know in the comments below if you think that's something you'd be interested in or if you think it's a good idea and any other suggestions of what I can do with Charlie I do want to make a Charlie coloring book at some point as well I do have lots of Charlie pages and I have lots of ideas for Charlie drawings and um, you can find some of my coloring pages on my patreon as well I've got the balloon Charlie from uh, my Q&A video and if you missed the Q&A video I'll leave a card up above so you can go and check that out but yeah, I do really want to develop Charlie and Inktober always inspires me. I say always inspires me to develop Charlie. This is only the second time I've done Inktober with Charlie. But yeah, it does always inspire me and it does really help with developing Charlie. And I can really see the differences in Charlie from last Inktober to this Inktober. And I will leave a card to last year's video up above. But I warn you, it's one of my early videos on YouTube. It was my second video on YouTube. So... It's not quite as good as this one, but I'll let you check that out and then you can see how Charlie and my video skills have improved. So here is the final result for day 14 and Charlie is really impressed with this clock. I think he would like it in his bedroom because he likes cheese and puns, two of his favourite things. But that's all for today's video, thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, you know, emotionally, please do leave it a like down below and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye for now!